Okay, let's uh, let's go again. Uh, dentist chess, dentist chess. Let's play an Albin without. Um, he's gonna play Knight F3, isn't he? Whoops, big delay. He's gonna play Knight F3 to torture me. Ouch. I think the usual response is Slav, but can I play it with quick E5 anyway, just to spite him? Um, or Dutch thing more? To surprise him if he doesn't play e4 here. So it's something more exotic than usual. He hasn't played bishop a3. Uh, he's going to play f4. Can I play g5 here? Just to get the g file. Or is that crazy? There's no queen h5. So if he wants to play f4, comes up price. Might want to play e4. I can get queen to. I don't know. Where can the queen go? If I take and then f4. About to lose a piece or something. Uh, I'm about to lose a piece to knight d7. I've got knight d7 there. I'm hoping it's not losing a piece. Also got knight e5 and bishop c5. Okay, what about just e5 though here? E5. Just trying to contest the e5 square. Oh, now I can. I can resign. Knight takes. Knight takes that. No, no, that's all right. <laughs> just about contesting e5. Okay, so there's a queen d4 if I need it. Okay, the tempo. The knight e4 is probably handy. To run knight f2. Uh, greedy. That's a. Can't see anything better. So my king's a bit exposed. Um. It's knight f6 to evade the queen protects h7 while well, I lose g5. Knight f2 check? Isn't that uh, winning the exchange? Uh, there's going to be check and then queen e5. Um, right, what about rook f6 or something like bishop f5? Play bishop g6. If it takes on e4, takes and then queen g5. Hmm. Rook f5. I don't think so. Um, bishop e6. Take on e4 again. Alright, so maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe my best is just knight f2, force the exchange sack. Actually, I'm just getting mated on h7. That's not too clever. Actually, a1 rook, some prey. <laughs> oh dear, this is a terrible game. <laughs> oh, I was on the verge of going 50% now, but maybe this is uh, now better for me. Uh, if I can survive this onslaught, to protect this diagonal. I'll play rook d8 or h6. Okay, the onslaught continues. What about bishop f7? g4, maybe g4. Play f3. Or rook f5 to try and trap the queen. Birds are. Quite noisy for this time of day, actually. Um, so bishop d5 here, um, maybe looks as good as anything to stop to block the diagonal. And also point at the king for f3. Again, I face trouble. Unless b6, b6 here might be a key move before imminent disaster. I 
lose C6. It's not as bad as uh, playing this knight to do damage. I could take that. We'll take on G2 first. Um, taking on G2 first, taking on D7. Queen G6, Queen G7. Oh, I'll go for that. Also, there's F3, it's an intermediary. Maybe F3, intermediary. Unless I'm helping him with King G3. I don't think I'm getting mated. I hope not, anyway. Well, this is rook g1. As queen takes d3. Rook g4, king h7. Okay, this is actually being tested. Queen d3. Protecting g6. Takes on g4. Maybe with his queen. That would be mating. So what about just rook f4? Sane a move. Queen d3, queen g4 is really mating, isn't it? On g7. So rook f4. Try and hold in there defensively. If I could just double the rooks. Okay, I can double the rooks. Keep hold of that rook. Then play queen g7 on f2. I want to try and get into the situation where my pieces are not too loose. I'm actually threatening Queen D3 again. Without losing F4 now. So only a minute left. Okay. So there's F2 and there's Queen D3 to consider. Well there's Queen G7, the problem is Queen E6, but then King H8 and then there's not too many checks. So maybe F2 first to tie the rook or the bishop down. Uh, now evict the queen. Okay, so good so far. What about targeting h4 with rook f6? Let's try and play queen h6. Or we'll just queen f6 next to hitting e6 and h4 if the queen doesn't move. And queen f6, try and just play queen h4. And then there's always king g2 at the end of that. Again, it's not really clear cut. Okay, can I get my king over? To just munch that pawn. Bishop's tied down. The rook is free to move. But if I can use my king like this, nope. Can I catch up on the clock at least and get my king off her? light square for a moment. So rook d4 to d1. Keep the king on the dark squares. Away from the bishop. Okay. That's cheeky, isn't it? I'm going to play check and bishop g1. Rook g1. No, I can't. Hold on to the pawn. Use the king, I think. 36 seconds. So pre-move time. That's going to be a dangerous pass pawn on this side to deal with. I get the king over to help defend the pawn. So once that happens I can relieve the rook. In fact rook c6 is on the cards here. If bishop f1 he's resigned here. Scary game. <laughs> try to play exotically with g5 here. I wouldn't try this at home guys. g5 double-edged. Um, so uh, this is all scary stuff. That was opportunity. Knox, <laughs> knight f2 because so I was actually intending queen f2. There's a slight snag. Queen h7 mate ends the game. So a little technical detail to win the rook on a1. I was back in the game. Comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.